Yesterday, already a quarter of the way through the regular season slate. Kettler's looking to finish off this four-game homestand strong with a win today against YD. So Kettler's take the field. Here's the lineup that'll oppose Tyler Bosma lined up under Scott Pickler for the Red Sox. Homer Bush Jr. leads off in center field. Pascal Ferreras has made a strong start in YD so far. He bats second at second. Cole Carrick out of San Diego State plays right field batting third. Mike Bovey cleans up at first base out of Nebraska. Jordan Thompson will bat fifth at third base. Luke Schliger out of Maryland will be the catcher. Chase Mindroth out of San Diego will DH batting 7th. Hunter Haas out of Arizona State plays shortstop batting 8th. And rounding out the lineup batting ninth out of Alabama is the left fielder William Hameter. Against Tyler Bosma making his third start of the season for the Cavaliers so far on the Cape. No decision so far. A 3.86 ERA. 7 innings in his first 2 starts. Has struck out 6 and walked 4. Jake, big part of him today, spotting up that fastball early in the count and then going to that looping breaking ball to change speeds, change eye levels against this YD lineup. Yeah, Bosman's not a guy who's going to blow it by you, throws you know, mid to upper 80s with that fastball. So as you said, Tim, you need to be able to hit the inside-outside part with that fastball and then be able to mix in all-speed pitches. Pitching backwards, too, going to be big key as well. We'll get you the defense playing behind the left-hander as well today. In the infield, Cam Collier back at third base. Graham Pauly gets his first start at shortstop. He's played a lot of second base for this Kettlers team. Makes the shift to the other half of the middle infield duo. Brooks Baldwin, Mr. Versatility, comes in to play second base. And Tyler Johnson out of Coastal Carolina plays first. Left to right across the outfield. Zach Cole, Victor Scott, and Josh Pearson gets a start in right field after coming to Katuit a few days ago. And Justin Mickness does the catching for the lefty Tyler Bosma. So, Mickness will send this one down. Again, just moments away from first pitch between YD and Katuit. First meeting between the teams here in 2022. Both games last year. A win for Katuit at Red Wilson. A win for Katuit at Lowell Park. Road game coming at the very start of the season. Then right at the tail end of the regular season, Katuit getting it done at home. So 2-0, sweeping the season series against the Red Sox. So Bosman ready to go on the mound, the lefty. Homer Bush Jr. about to dig in from the right side out of Grand Canyon. Get to it in the home whites with the pinstripes. YD with the white pants and the red jerseys. Bosma toes the rubber. He'll begin out of the windup. His first pitch home is swung and a miss. Losing the bat is Bush. And big exclamation point to start today's game. Off no balls, one strike. You know, they always say throw the bat at the ball. Don't think they mean it in a literal sense when they're teaching you how to hit, but... Bush. I mean, also a hot day, a bit sweaty, uh, high humidity, so definitely probably slipped out of the hand a little bit. Again, first pitch being thrown today at 5.01. Still a perfect sunny day. As Jake mentioned, just a little humid here at Lowell Park. Bosman's 0-1, chops back up to the right side. Charging that one is Baldwin. He shuffles in, fires on to first, and it's just in time to get Bush for the first out of the ball game. Brooks Baldwin makes his first start of the young season at second base. We've seen him in right mostly. Saw him play first base a couple of nights ago as well. That one took a couple of extra steps before firing at the first. Trying to get a, you know accurate throw, but also just beat out the runner, Bush. But, you know, Baldwin's own is versatile. Can really play anywhere in the infield and outfield. Again, first pitch temperature 79 degrees and sunny skies here in the village of Katuit. Certainly feels a little warmer than that. Everybody making sure to stay hydrated on this humid day on this Saturday late afternoon. So one out already for Bosman. He deals the first pitch home and it finds the outside corner to Pascanel Ferreras. No balls, one strike. Again, Ferreras out of Western Carolina. Batting second at second base today for YD. Bosman stays in the windup. Here's the 0-1. Runs that fastball away. Gets a swing miss from Ferreras. And the lefty out of Kentucky ahead 0-2. And the fastball is, you know, not as hard, you know, mid to upper 90s as other guys we see. It's going to be so important to get some late life on that fastball and really spotted that one. Nice job tailing away to the righty. He's had good action running away on that side of the plate out of the left hand. Here's the 0-2. Goes back to that fastball, runs it too far away. No chase from Ferreras. Puts the count at one ball, two strikes. No one on here in the top of the first inning. One out. No score between the Red Sox and the Kettleers. Shrugging the shoulders and a deep breath from Bosma. Finds a sign he likes. Kicks with the 1-2. Took something off of that one. Let it tail down and in. Ferreras works back from 0-2 to 2-2. Cole Carrick out of San Diego State stands on deck. The golden locks flowing out of his helmet. Bosman ready to go. Here's the 2-2. At least that one down the first base dugout. 
Let's say he got one off the end of the bat. Hit a player in the YD dugout, but he signals he's got a thumbs up. Took that one off the left eye. Got not a lot of exit velocity, so took that one like a champ. Said, hey, I'm good. Let's keep rolling. No, if that was Cam Collier in the dugout, he'd be running to go grab a catcher's <laughs> mask right now after what we saw at Wareham the other night. At safety. He's just being aware. It's good stuff. First, choking up with two strikes. The 2-2. Swung on and missed. It rolls away from Mictus back towards the Katua dugout. Ferreris is going to reach base on the strikeout in the books. But it does put the first runner of the day on for YD here in the top of the first inning. That one just got a little too far away from Mictus. Really not much he can do on that one as it tailed further and further away down that third base line. So, see Paul's move to the stretch now. See if he can try and do so. Ground ball double play. So brings Carrick to the plate from the right side. Again, in reference to talking about Cam Collier and the catcher's mask dating back to last Tuesday against Wareham. Over at Spillane Field, the dugout's a lot closer to the field. And for Katuit on the third base side, any ball that a lefty can spray, it's hit the deck for anyone in the dugout. A couple hitting off that very top of the roof. And after one of them from the bat of a lefty, Cam Collier said, I'm staying this one safe. As Boswell's first pitch home, cut on and missed. Carrick a little out in front of that one. Balls behind the count, no balls, one strike. Saw one of those foul balls hit off the top of the roof above him and said, nope, I'm going for extra safety. Went down into the dugout, grabbed Justin Mickness' catcher's mask, and sat there for the rest of the inning, making sure his face was well protected. Runner on first, one out in the inning, no score between the Kettleers and the Red Sox. Bossman gives a long look at first, gives a quick check over on Ferreris. Back in plenty of time. And Bosma's been sturdy so far. Doesn't have electric stuff. Won't go entirely deep into games. But has given Katuit a chance to win in his first two starts. That's all Mike Roberts can ask for. Bosma sets. Takes a long pause. Now fires from the belt. 0-1. Lined into center field. Scott a few steps in. Has a beat on it. He raises the right glove to make the catch. And there's two down in the inning. That was a fastball. A little bit out over the plate, but... As you said, not thrown particularly hard, so as a batter, you got to kind of generate a lot more of your own power on those pitches as well. And that one kind of just died up there when it was hit out towards Scott and center for out number two. So Bosman gets the first half of what's been a pretty solid 3-4 to start the season. Again, Carrig lines out, entered today hitting 379 on the year. And now the 3-4 combo goes to the back half, and Mike Bovey out of Nebraska. He stands in from the left side. Black handle on the bat with that dark red barrel. Bosman's first pitch, lefty-lefty. Fastball misses low for ball one. Bovey on the season so far in 32 at-bats, hitting 344. Already has driven in four RBIs as well for the Red Sox. Bosman will look to win this lefty-on-left -left matchup and get out of the first. Next one home. Fastball rides up just a little bit of the high of the letters. First time today, Bosman really falling behind in a count. But we will look to find one pitch to do damage with in a 2-0 count. Baldwin a few steps on the outfield. Grass shading the hole on the right side. 2-0 home. Breaking ball cuts across the outside corner. Saw a little bender from Bosman that time. Two balls, one strike. Again, Ferrer stands on first. He reached after the strikeout. That one rolled away towards the Katua dugout away from Justin Mickness. Boswell to get the last one. 2-1. Comes right back to that same spot, this time with the fastball. Left-hander doing a good job. He evens the count at two. Set Boswell, a great job going inside, outside of those pitches. Really spotting it well. See what he comes back here at the two-strike pitch. He's like the looping breaking ball in counts like these. See what him and Mickness are thinking here. 2-2. Breaking ball, check swing foul. Just trying to defend the plate was Bovey. We'll do the 2-2 two -two again. Again, no score so far in the top of the first inning. Battle of the two first place teams. Kettleers in the west, Red Sox in the east. Last year's season series started at YD. Now flipping over to Lowell Park here in 2022. Bosman shakes off one side, now comes to a set at the belt. Deep breath, gives a look at first. Ferreras dances off. 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, check swing. They won't appeal that one missing off the plate. The count goes full. Ferreras should get a head start at first. Three balls, two strikes. Two outs, top one. Nothing, nothing between the Red Sox and the Kettleers. 
Bosma looking to post a zero in the first. Makes his move. Ferreras goes. 3-2. Fastball skied into center field. Scott barely had to move at first. Now takes a few steps to his left. And